Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn that digital circuits are built from logic gate. We will practice writing the Boolean expression of the digital diagrams. Example 1a. We have three inputs, A, B, C, and we run these three inputs into all of these gates. So first of all, we should recognize that this is an N gate. So this is a NAND gate. And this one is the OR gate. All right. So run this through here, A, B, C. Coming out of this gate, I should have A dot B dot C. Or you can write it as A, B, C. And running all of the signals into this NAND gate, I should have A dot B dot C inverted. Or you can just write A, B, C, all of them inverted. You pull this into this OR gate. Therefore, your Boolean expression for this digital diagram should be A, B, C plus A, B, C all of it inverted or you can write it as a dot b dot c i can put it in the bracket as well and i add that with a dot b dot c all of it inverted and i can put that in the bracket as well having the brackets here clearly indicates that i should have three gates in this case All right, let's move on to example number 1B. Okay, I have an inverter. I have an AND gate. I have an AND gate. And right here, I have an OR gate. So running the signal A into here, I should have A. B, I invert the signal B. So I should have B inverted. Coming out of here, I should have A dot b inverted and coming from from here i should have b inverted going to this gate and i got c so i should have inverted of b dot c i run this two signal into an or gate so in the end my boolean expression should be a dot invert of b Add that with invert of B dot with C. Or you can write it as A, B, invert plus invert of B, C. All right. So let's continue on with our next example. Example C. All right, so I only have two inputs in this case, but I run this two signal into all of this gate. Okay, so let's review. This one is an inverter. This one is the OR gate. This is the NOR gate. This is the AND gate. And coming out of this as the OR gate. So it's a good idea to run through the wire so I run A through this inverter. I should have A inverted. And I carry this A inverted through this OR gate. Here I have B. I connect into here. So coming out of this OR gate, I should have the output as invert of A plus B. All right. So now, for the next one, I run the signal through so coming out here, I should have A inverted, run B through the wire, I should have B. Coming out of this NOR gate, I should have inverted of A plus B, everything inverted. Okay, so for this gate, I should have A, I should have B. 
the output from this N gauge will give me A dot B. And I pour all of this three signal into the OR gate. So in the end, my Boolean expression should be A inverted plus B in the bracket. I add that with A inverted plus B, the whole thing inverted plus A dot B. All right. Or you can write it as A inverted plus B, still in the bracket because you want to indicate that you have a gate. A inverted plus B, all of it inverted plus AB. All right. Continue on, I would like everyone to take a look at this handout. In this handout, I would like everyone to read the zero and the one outputs from this digital circuit. So I have ABC as the input for the number one, and I assign the zero, the one, and the one for this, this three. So let's write the 0, 1, 1 beside this ABC to remind ourselves. So A is given as 0, B is given as 1, C is given as 1. All right. So A pull the 0 through this inverter, I should have 1. Okay. Then I run the B as the 1. And right here is also the one. This is a NOR gate. So coming out of the NOR gate, the one, one, one should give me a zero. All right, so this here should give me a zero. So the next one, okay, coming out from here, we run the Y through this. So right here, I should have a1, signal B goes here. I also have a 1. Signal C goes here. I also have a 1. So this is an AND gate. So coming out of an AND gate, I should have a 1 because all three inputs are 1. So it's 1. So I run a 0 here, a 1 there. It is an AND gate. Okay, so I should have a zero coming out of this. In for the signal, I should have one at the end. All right. All right. Okay. For example, number two, what I have is given A equal to one, B equals to one, C equal to zero. So running through this, gate as an AND gate, I should have 1, 1, 0. Out of the AND gate, I should have 0. All right. So here I should have 1, 1. But for the C, okay, so let's run the Y through this. C is a 0, but then I put it through an inverter, make that into a 1. So coming into this gate, I also have a 1. Again, it is an N gate. So 1, 1, 1 through an N gate will give me a 1 as the output. Okay, so let's run the next Y. I should have right here as the 1 for A. So right here, I should have 1 for B. I should have, right here, I should have a 1. But I put it through an inverter, so I will put a 0 into this gate. For the C, I should have 0. And still a 0 come into this gate. So it is an N gate again. So for an N gate, I have 1, 0, 0. So I should have a 0 coming out from here. 
So let's pull all of these three signals into this OR gate. So I have one, I have one here, zero there, and then zero. So I should have one as the output. All right, so let's move on to the next example. I have A as 1, B as 1, C as 0, and D as 1. All right, all right. Okay, so what I'm going to ask everyone to take a look at this is we actually have four inputs in this case. And we run this to a NOR gate, right? A NOR gate. So 1, 1 out of the NOR gate will give me a 0. So right here, I, I pull in a, a 1. Right here, I pull in a, a 0. So this is an OR gate. So 1, 0 out of an OR gate, I should have a 1. Okay, so right here, I should have C. Going in here, I should have a 0. Right here, I should have a 1. An OR gate again. So I should have a 1 coming out of this OR gate. So I pull this 3 signal into here. 0, 1, 1. So it is an AND gate. So for an AND gate, I should have 0 from here. Input the signal, I should have 1 as the final answer. All right. OK, for number 4. OK. So I have A, B, C as the input. A is assigned as 1, B is 0, C is 1. So coming out with this inverter, I pull a 1 in here. Here is a 0, here's a 1. Okay, I'm sorry, out of the inverter, this should be a 0. Okay, so this is my N gate. So that will give me a zero coming out from here. Okay. So right here I should run the Y through. I should have zero go into this gate. This one I should have a zero. I run B in here. C. I should have a one. So I have an OR gate in this case. But there's an inverter, so I should have a NOR gate. So that means I should have 1, but inverted, I should have a 0. Okay. So going through this, I should have, let's run through this. Um, this should be a 1, because I have... Okay, see that? Right here I have a 1. And for the B, let's try a different color. Okay, so I should have this. Going back to B, I should just have 0 here. And for the C, I go like this. Here's a 1. Going through this inverter, I should turn it into a 0. So I pull a 0 into this OR gate. So the 1, 0, 0 through this OR gate, I should have a 1 as the output. Okay, so let's continue with this. Here is a 0, 0. It is an AND gate. So out of here, I still have a 0. So I pull a 0 into this NOR gate. Right here, I still have a 1. Okay, so it is a NOR gate. So out of here, I should have a 1. But then I invert my signal, so therefore I have a zero as the output. Thank you.